In an amazing discovery, an amateur Israeli scuba diver found a sword that likely belonged to a crusader knight almost a millennium ago. We take a look at the numbers, 900 years old, the estimated age of this iron sword found in the seabed off the coast of Haya, Israel. It was a groundbreaking moment when a diver spotted a 900-year-old mythical sword lying in the shallow waters surrounding Israel. Another mind-boggling moment was when researchers investigating the deep blue sea captured a colossal squid, one with a striking resemblance to the famed legend of the Kraken. These and many other shocking discoveries tell of the breathtaking wonders hidden in the depths of our oceans. These enigmatic wonders once again come to light when deep-sea divers plunge into treacherous depths, but some are so shocking that if they weren't captured, no one would believe them. Join us in this video as we reveal 15 strangest things found by deep-sea divers, and just so you know, no one was supposed to find this. If a diver didn't capture this, no one would believe. In the early months of 2021, a recreational diver off Israel's Caramel Coast encountered a glistering object poking mysteriously from the seafloor. Swimming closer down to a depth of about 60 feet, he noticed it was a full-sized medieval broadsword. But this wasn't just any sword, it was a 900-year-old relic with a legendary backstory. It turned out this diver had stumbled upon a rare crusader weapon dating to the iconic Holy Wars when European armies sought to claim the Holy Land. Tucked in the wet sands for centuries, the blade stood unwithered, perfectly preserved. After meticulously chipping away the moss and dirt covering it, scientists revealed the fascinating steel weapon with an uncorroded iron blade. How did this blade manage to stay so clean after nearly a thousand years? The enigmatic sword sparked theories, with some suggesting it had mystical powers, while others feel it was sheathed before falling into the sea. Whichever way, this sword remains the most significant reminder of this ancient war era. Our next discovery reminds us of another era when pirates ruled the seas. The vast waters surrounding North Carolina abound with legends of notorious pirates who ruled the waters centuries ago. Of all the pirates, the name Blackbeard is the most revered. The British pirate plundered the Caribbean and colonial American waters, amassing power and riches so great that he had a fleet or sea army. However, in 1718, several naval forces converged to eliminate his treacherous reign. Years ago, marine technicians stumbled upon a massive cannon embedded in the sands of Atlantic Beach, weighing a colossal 2,000 tons. The size and pattern of the cannon matched records of those used in the great battle that ended the pirate's reign. Plus, other metallic artifacts that looked a lot like pirate machinery were found. Finding pirate ship remains may be exciting, but this next discovery is something out of the ordinary. About 100 feet below the raging waves of Japan's Ryukyu Islands, lies one of the most enigmatic underwater formations ever discovered, the Yonaguni Formation. This intriguing 150-foot-long composite rock structure sent shockwaves throughout the archaeological community, hinting at the possibility of an ancient alien civilization. The puzzling discovery was brought to light in 1987 by a diver. Since then, researchers have debated its man-made or natural origins. The sensational wonder boasts of notched projections, flat parallel faces, sharp steps, and large squared blocks, all suggesting it was carefully and purposefully crafted. Some theorists propose that this mystery monument may be the foundation of a submerged Neolithic settlement flooded by the rising seas. Although no one knows what ancient settlement this monument belonged to, its original alluring texture and fascinating architecture attract divers worldwide. Running bare hands over the cracks and edges of the surface of this monument gives a feeling like no other, making Yonaguni sunken ruins a favorite destination for touring divers. But then the Yonaguni ruin doesn't come close to this next discovery, which has long been labeled a special destination for underwater tourists. World War II was one of the most epic wartime in the history of humanity. The chaotic war spanned oceans and continents, lasting from 1939 to 1945, with raging battles, destructive war technology, and countless deaths. This era greatly shaped today's world order. However, few relics from this era are as special as this well-preserved fighter plane. The war era vintage plane was found by sonar images lying upright about 13,000 feet down in the deep waters. As cameras drew in on this captivating finding, its sharp wings came into view with details about its military insignia. 
War veterans suggest it could be a rare Curtis P-40 Warhawk, the American fighter-bomber vessel frequently launched for combat missions over the Pacific. Some experts have suggested that this unlucky plane may have missed a deck landing attempt, thereby ending up in the water's abyss. But then it stands as a time capsule into the decisive battle of the Coral Sea when several nations locked horns in a world-ending battle for the ages. It's still a mystery where this plane ended up and how it did. But this next discovery is even more mysterious because it had no business being in the water. Lying helplessly on the seafloor off the coast of New Jersey is a long-forgotten 18th-century technological marvel dating back over 170 years. The rare top-class steam engines had been forgotten to the seabeds of time, until they were glimpsed for the first time in 1985 by a local diver. Their discovery sparked interest, with many experts questioning their origin and burial story. How were these vintage relics lost and forgotten in an underwater grave? Out of the dozen relics found, the models included the Triple Two T, which is thought to date back to the 1850s. Remarkably, the metal bodies of these ancient trains are still intact, despite decades of corrosive action from salty seawater. The intriguing images show these trains lined up neatly in their final resting place, almost resembling an underwater railway station waiting dutifully for passengers. The true story behind their watery demise is still unknown. Some experts suggest a storm may have been responsible, while others believe the trains were deliberately sunk after being deemed as scraps. Speaking of scraps from a bygone era, none is as compelling as this next discovery. An exploration team made the discovery of a lifetime in March 2013 when they successfully hauled up over 1,200 kilograms of silver bullion lost during World War II. Using some advanced sonar remote vehicles and 5,800 meters of cable, the crew scanned the seafloor for what was once thought to be lost forever. Lying not too far away from the Titanic wreckage, this 412-foot British cargo was a priceless war commando. The craft sank in February 1941 after a German bomber attacked, going down with a silver payload insured at 600,000 PS, over 150 million in value presently. The sad loss of this priceless metal contributed to the UK being driven off the gold standard shortly after. However, those who suffered the most shock were the families of the 86 men lost at sea. Finding this ancient silver bullion wasn't just a restoration of a long-lost treasure, but closure for families of the deceased. But speaking of long-lost treasures, the next discovery is a million-dollar treasure that transformed the life of its finder. In July 2015, Eric Schmidt, a professional salvager, hit the jackpot of a lifetime when he uncovered a long-lost treasure of gold coins worth over one million dollars. The mind-blowing treasure was discovered in an unnamed 1715 Spanish shipwreck site off Florida's Treasure Coast. Although tales of places like Treasure Island may have put the idea of becoming a treasure hunter in Eric Schmidt's mind, he was overjoyed after realizing he had stumbled upon Earth's richest unsalvaged wreck area. The wreckage dates back 300 years ago when Spain dominated the world, amassing much of South America's wealth. It wasn't uncommon for Spanish ships heavily laden with gold and riches of all kinds to travel the rough seas en route to Europe, sailing along Florida's eastern shoreline. However, things turned for the worse in July 1715 when a massive hurricane hit, sinking ten Spanish treasure ships and dispersing their fortunes hundreds of miles across the continental shelf. To this day, this remains one of the greatest single losses of gold and silver in history. The total value of what was lost is about half a billion in today's economy. Schmidt made his unexpected life-transforming discovery in 2015 while magnet fishing for scraps. His joy knew no bounds when he found 51 gold coins beneath the sands within seconds, followed by hundreds more, all well-preserved. But while Schmidt's discovery was a joy to the entire nation, this next one was a terror to everyone who saw it. For long, there have been tales and speculations of colossal creatures lurking beneath the deep blue sea. With more than 70% of our oceans unexplored, scientists and researchers are confident that many horrors may exist in the deepest, darkest parts of our seas, where no diver has ever dared to venture. Into one such horror came to light somewhere in the twilight zone depths of the southern ocean between Antarctica and New Zealand, the colossal squid. Sneaking into view briefly before disappearing into the deep abyss, this legendary finding made public enthusiasts revive tales of the Kraken, a mythical, 
legendary sea monster that tore away at ships and pirates, causing chaos like the world has never seen. Experts suggest that this colossal squid, though not as large as the mind-blowing shipwreck and kraken, has the potential to rival even supersized sperm whales in size. Imagine how terrifying it would be to find a 33-ton squid with massive arms and propellers waddling its way toward you. Thank you so much for watching this.